Choosing where to give birth to your baby will be a very personal decision and it's really important that you discuss it with your community midwife or your obstetrician. Here at Queen's Hospital you have three choices of where to give birth. You can choose to have your baby at home, on the Queen's Birth Centre or on the labour ward. And thankfully, birth is generally safe for you and your baby wherever you choose. It's important to remember though, wherever you decide to give birth, you can always change your mind at any stage. Nothing is ever set in stone. You may wish to have your baby at home. Your care will be usually be provided by one midwife throughout the labour and a second midwife will be called when your baby is close to being born. Choosing to give birth at home can be a really positive decision. It means you're more likely to have a straightforward vaginal birth compared to planning a hospital birth. The risk of serious complications for your baby is thankfully very low here in the UK, but it does rise from 5 per 1,000 at a planned hospital birth to 9 per 1,000 at a planned home birth. And this is something you should factor in when making a decision on where to give birth to your baby. If you wish, you can hire a birth pool or a TENS machine. The midwife will also bring gas and air should you wish to use it. The midwife caring for you on the day will monitor yours and your baby's well-being and if there are any concerns whatsoever then he or she will discuss the option of transferring into the hospital. In the unlikely event of an unexpected emergency, a swift transfer to hospital will be arranged via an emergency ambulance. Midwives are trained to deal with these scenarios and are required to update their training at least once a year, so you'll be in safe hands. If you change your mind at any point during the birth and want to go into hospital, that's absolutely fine and the midwife caring for you will arrange this for you. If you plan to give birth at home, the likelihood of you transferring to the labour ward is 45%. This may be because of a medical complication or simply because you've changed your mind. Another option is for you to give birth on our birth centre. Here you will be in a home-like relaxed environment you will receive care from midwives only as there are no doctors working here in the birth centre. However, just like with home births, there are clear processes for dealing with any emergencies and transfer to the labour ward can happen very quickly if it's needed. Planning a birth on the birth centre means you are more likely to have a straightforward vaginal birth compared to get planning to give birth on the labour ward. And the likelihood of your baby developing any serious complications is very low. In fact, it's the same as planning to give birth on the labour ward. The likelihood of transferring to the labour ward due to medical complications or your request is 40%, which is similar to a home birth. On the birth centre, you will have access to birth pools, gas and air, pethidine and active birth equipment. During the labour and your birth, you will have your own private room with an ensuite bathroom. Once your baby is born, you'll be transferred to a bay with other mums and babies. If you choose to give birth on the labour ward, you will have access to medical facilities should you need them. Your care will be provided by a midwife and if required you will also have access to an obstetrician, anaesthetist and a neonatologist. Planning to give birth on the labour ward increases your chances of having a Vontus, forceps or c-section birth. However, if you have a serious medical condition or if you've developed complications during your pregnancy, then this may be the safest place for you and your baby. On the labour ward, you'll have access to a birth pool, but please discuss whether this would be appropriate for you and your baby with your midwife on the day. You'll also have access to gas and air, pethidine and active birth equipment. Labour ward is the only place where you can have an epidural if you want one. During the label and birth, you will have your own private room with ensuite bathroom. Once your baby is born, you will be transferred to coral ward or postnatal ward, where you will either be in a bay with other mums and babies, or you may be in a private room, and this is dependent on yours and your baby's medical needs. If you haven't experienced a straightforward pregnancy, or if you have a medical condition that it could impact on the birth, please discuss where you would like to give birth with your midwife or obstetrician. This doesn't mean that you won't be able to give birth at home or on the Queen's Birth Centre, but it does mean that a careful plan would need to be in place and that would be made together with you, your midwife, your obstetrician and a consultant midwife. It would be done in partnership with you as well, taking your wishes and needs into consideration at each step along the way. <laughs>